I see patients, you know, often, you know, who will have hypothalamic amenorrhea. Mm -hmm. So we know that when it comes to exercise, like building skeletal muscle, fighting insulin resistance, all of that's great. But if your body is spending so much time overtraining, if you are spending more calories than you are taking in, that this can have really detrimental impact on your body. Yes. And I still see a lot of people who don't recognize that it's a problem, that they have irregular cycles or absent periods, or they don't connect it to the level of overtraining that they're doing. Yes. Do you see people who are still overtraining and overdoing it and not realizing it? It's a constant struggle. And I think that it's not your fault because I think that's what we're conditioned to believe, mm. quote unquote, works. And I can say this from personal experience. I have a personal history of overdoing it, over exercising, you know, working out every single day, sometimes twice a day to like be lean and thin. And ironically, I work out for some, I'm pregnant now, but pre pregnancy um, had, was in the best shape of my life and worked out for less than half the amount of time and intensity than I did before. I just working out a lot smarter um, and recovering properly. So, I think when I'm speaking to someone like this, I'm sensitive to say like, it's a, like, it's okay. It's understandable mm -hmm. why you think you need to do that. I've been there. But when you understand the science and you start to unravel some of the physiology behind it, your, your mindset will shift 